Okay, I have a few cards left for the second part of the reading. So the Nine of Swords is surrounding your entire reading. So, you know, this is being up in your head, Swords of Truth and Clarity, that just over and over, you might be, you know, like, uh, being, feeling uh, oh, disappointed in yourself for some reason, or disappointed in somebody else's actions. Oh, boy. This is surrounding your reading. So we're going to find out why. The Seven of Cups is the highest energy for you in this reading. This is seven cups of love, sort of, because all these cups have something else in them. And they're all screaming, pick me, pick me. But not one of those cups is the right cup for you, okay? They all have something that takes precedence over the love. These are the two strongest energies in your reading. So perhaps you found yourself or you think you found yourself in a relationship that is going nowhere. Let me see. Now this is a general reading that's not going to resonate with everyone. You can take from the reading what does resonate or perhaps think about a private reading. And um, if you, I do private readings, if you just shoot me an email, we can get started. It's that easy. I have the Six of Cups next to the Seven of Cups and right above the Nine of Swords. You know, the Six of Cups is a, is a, it's a soulmate card, okay, first off. Second off, it's probably someone from your past, okay? Now, you're up in your head, probably from someone from your past, and um, it's about the love. This is a very young energy, by the way. Um, I mean, you might have known this person as children or college years or before, just prior in your life. If not, it was from another lifetime, which that's what soulmates are. But the Six of Cups uh, is it starts out sweet. It, it really does. It's a sweet love. It feels like a reconnection to me from someone from your past for most of you. I have the Five of Swords next to the Six of Cups. There is some kind of truth and clarity uh, that has put you into this Nine of Swords mood. This is what's making you doubt the love. Some kind of truth and clarity. And actually, you're picking up those swords with the Five of Swords. And you're letting an energy fade off into the distance. So you're thinking about letting this soulmate just go away. Because of some kind of truth. It could be that they just don't have the love for you that you do for them. Uh, let me just keep reading. I have the judgment card here, though, so your guardian angels and spirit guides are all around you. And what their job here is to do is to teach you a spiritual lesson. They're so hard to get through. No wonder the Nine of Swords is right next to the judgment card. But part of the spiritual lesson has to do with the Seven of Cups. It's picking the right cup to, to, to love. Um, you're waking up to it. Look at all those people. They hear the horn. You're waking up to a spiritual lesson of some kind. Now, once you wake up to a spiritual lesson, you're usually rewarded by the universe. Let's see how this reading goes. I have the Ten of Pentacles next to the Nine of Swords and under the Five of Swords. The truth is either they're married, okay, or they're not committable for whatever reason. Um, I think that's why, because you wanted a committed long-term relationship, and I just don't think that was happening. I have the Five of Cups under the Judgment card. Disappointment and love, all right. Your cups got spilled, but you have two cups right above you. This is what I call the card of hope. So, hope and love. So there's still hope out there for love. Even if this one doesn't, doesn't work out, maybe it will. Let me keep reading. I have the Seven of Pentacles next to the Five of Cups and under the Nine of Swords. So this is waiting for a commitment. I think you were in this relationship for a long time before it finally like dawned on you that this is going nowhere. The truth of the matter is, or... Uh, you waited and waited before you found out they were still married or they were uh, just non-committable. 
Next to the Seven of Pentacles is the Hierophant. And this is under the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card for um, marriage. It is about traditional values, traditional morals. It's about security, stability, groundedness. This is the card for Taurus. So Taurus could be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But um, yeah, so you were waiting uh, for quite some time for this relationship to come to fruition with someone that uh, you've known from the past. I think you reconnected with somehow, either through Facebook or ran into at the grocery store. I don't know how, but you did reconnect. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see where this is going. Okay. So we have the strength card next to the five of swords, letting them go. Um, and picking up the swords of truth and clarity takes a lot of strength and courage on your side, on your part. But you will find the strength and courage to do what you know you need to do. It looks like, um, now you're very, you're very independent anyway. You're very, um, self-assured. You're very, um, self-confident. Uh, you have your own pentacles. You're grounded. You're stable. Um, so I feel like you just kind of need to get back to being you here. You have, you don't need their pentacles if they have any. Um, you, cause you have a lot of your own. I think you, that you just had high hopes of this relationship moving forward. I have the queen of cups next to the nine of pentacles. Now all cards are male or female. All the kings and queens are very uh, mature thinking. So up here next to the nine of pentacles, we have the queen of cups. You have questions now about love. So that cup is full of answers. And that's why she is looking into that cup for answers. So that's what's on your mind is like, you know, how will I know what love looks like? How will I know when it's a true cup of love? How, you know, why didn't they love me? Why, why, you know, how could that be? Whatever your questions are. Um, this is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in, in someone's chart around this reading. I have the Justice card below the Strength card next to the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card for Libra. Libra could be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. But you're getting rebalanced. That's what's taking a lot of strength and courage is getting your scales rebalanced, getting yourself rebalanced. You're hanging that sword down in front of you for self-protection. So it's like self-justice. You are taking care of yourself and getting yourself back on track to being you. You're doing it with your sword out. You're, you're, you've, I think you've actually matured um, in a way. Um, the king of swords here, very mature mind, very mature thinking with your sword out. Um, you know, looking, seeking that truth, seeking that clarity. You don't want to be fooled again. I feel like that you were kind of fooled in this relationship or you let yourself be fooled that there was more there than what there was but um this is air libra gemini or aquarius that might be strong in someone's chart around this reading and libra is right next to the king of swords and on the other side of the king of swords and under the queen of cups is temperance this is the card for sagittarius so sagittarius might be strong in someone's chart did I tell you the strength card is the card for Leo? I think I did, but if not, there you go. Leo could be strong. But Temperance's job, this is your guardian angels and spirit guides are all around you, and they're trying to help you be tempered. That's why it's called Temperance. So um, they want you to be balanced. They want you to be grounded, and they want you to be patient. Kind of have some patience in moving forward. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you were a little fast to go into this relationship before you really truly knew what you were getting into. That could have been. But they're trying to just, you know, get you balanced, which you're doing a good job at, by the way, with the Justice card being here. Get you grounded. King of Swords is very grounded and really looking for that truth and that clarity. And to help you be patient in moving forward. I have the Devil card under the Justice card next to the Hierophant. There was toxic energy. That's, that's what stopped this relationship from moving forward that we're talking about with the Six of Cups, that soulmate energy. 
Um, this is the card for Capricorn. Uh, nothing to do with the toxic energy associated with this card, but Capricorn could be strong in someone's chart here. But the devil. Um, look, there's three people. There could have been a third party. Maybe that's what you heard. Whatever it is really got up into your head. You're like, oh, what the heck? And then um, it prevents this pentacle from coming forward because it's toxic. So it could have been an addiction. It, could, it can be just about anything. I only have one card of a third party really showing up. So it could have been anything, but it was toxic to the relationship. There was something attached to them that uh, would not allow this to go any further. I have the Three of Cups next to the Devil and under the King of Swords. Oh my God. So, this, uh, wow, this was a reunion. You know, it started out very sweet. Um, they still might be coming back in with this card. They might shake off that extra energy, whatever it is that's attached to them, and they might return with this Three of Cups here. And if they do, it'll be a good reunion because this, the toxic energy will be gone. Because look, there's only two cups being poured into one. So they may return, but if they, if they do return, it's going to be a happy reunion. But you're going to be very cautious. You're going to have your sword out and you're going to seek the truth and clarity from them. So about whatever you heard, whatever the truth and clarity was, they resolve, it looks like. I am surprised to see this because I didn't expect it to go that way. Um, but in the meantime, you're going to take care of yourself. You're going to do what you need to do for you. I don't know how much time goes by before they return. And it looks like eventually they will return. And you will. It will throw you off balance. So there's another reason temperance is here. So when they return, they're, temperance is going to try to help you stay balanced uh, because it's going to throw you off. And, um, you know, you can only stand on one leg like that for so long, holding pentacles in each arm. Uh, so, you know, it, it's decision-making time. So do expect that. Expect that there's going to be a time to make a decision here. Uh, as far as this soulmate goes, I think they're out of the picture and then they're coming back into the picture. So keep your sword out. Ask the questions. I don't see what way it's going to go, but for some reason, temperance just wants you to kind of hang in there um, because I think they are returning. Let me take out a clarification card, see if this works for that two of pentacles. Yeah, oh, okay. They're returning very sincere. Okay. Um, the king of cups came out. That's a big cup of love and that's mature. Okay. So water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, you know, might be strong in someone's chart. They have a huge cup of love. That's why Temperance wants you to kind of cool your heels a little bit. Just, you know, get yourself back on track, become yourself, learn the spiritual lesson, whatever it might have been. I think it was just um, uh, not being cautious enough, not knowing enough about the person before getting in too deep. Now you will. <laughs> now you will. Let's take out a, um, and they're a soulmate. And let me point this out. You know, we already know they're a soulmate, but it started out as a young six of cups. And it's ending up as two very mature people with two beautiful cups of love. Sometimes things work out when you least suspect card number two. So I will read it to you. It says, go within. You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lay waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. So just heal. Get back on track. Remember who you are, what you want. Get balanced. 
And then in the meantime, they're doing what they have to do to shed some toxic energy and then they return. This could be an ex or something. This could be a, a, a past experience that's holding them back that um, frightened them away. It could be just about anything, but they're coming back. 